Well, I'm trying to re remember, remember. I'm trying to remember. It was already very nubby, but now it's even more nubby. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a project pan update for y'all today. So this is the crossing six off my Christmas list project pan. So I have my products to go over with you guys to kind of share with you how I'm doing. I've marked a couple of things and then the other ones I'm just gonna kind of have to like share how I'm doing. So yeah, let's get to it. So first off is my Benefit Puff Off Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the look of puffies. So love this product. I've not been doing so well on this to be honest because I kind of forget to use it. And that's why I wanted to include it in the project pan in general because I really like this product, but I just kind of forget to use it. Now how I'm doing, there's really like not a way of telling because even when I hold it up to the light, it's like there's like bubbles in it, you know? So there's still like product up here, but then there's kind of product missing from the middle because it has a bubble in it. So there's not like a way I can like squish it down and then see. So I'm not sure. <laughs> how I'm doing on this one, like in actuality, but just in use, like knowing how many times I've used it, I kind of forget. Like a lot of times I'll even like put on my foundation and then I go, oh poo, I didn't use my puff off. So then I'll go ahead and use it and then I'll apply more, you know, kind of like fix that area. So I'm trying to remember, remember, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember to use it, but I'm not doing super well on it but I'm trying. Next is my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I could pretty much say that I'm done with this at any point in time. Like it's super duper goopy and gross around like the opening part. And I mean, it's, it's pretty dried up at this point, but I'm just using like every little last morsel of it because I love this mascara. That's what I have on my lashes today. It's just so lengthening and volumizing and amazing. It's a super like thick, gloopy formula, but it's amazing. I love it. So if you can get past kind of like the messiness of it, like there's gloopy gloop around like the opening, you need to like wipe off the product and use the least amount possible. If you can kind of get past like how to work with it, it really does amazing things for the lashes. So this is pretty much done. I'm just kind of still using it to try to use up any possibility that I could still get use of, out of this mascara, I'm still gonna do it. My eyeliners I'm doing pretty well. This one I totally like rocked at it. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is the one that was pretty much just a nub and had maybe two more uses left in it. That's why I kind of like included these as one item versus two. But I used up the two little applications, the tiny little nub. It's been used up, so I really did very well with this one. <laughs> Now this one I'm doing fairly well. Um, I have it here. There was where it started and there it is now. Um, I'm doing okay. The only thing with this is I've kind of been liking no liner looks right now. Like today I have this on, but I've really been enjoying just no liner on my top or bottom lash line. So that kind of makes it difficult to use up a liner when you're not really wanting to wear liner right now. So I did when I would wear a black liner, this is what I was reaching for. And I'm making headway and making progress with it, but I don't know if I'm gonna use this up by Christmas. I would really have to apply a lot of liner to get this used up, but I'm making progress, so that's important. And my MAC lipstick in Angel. This is another nubby product. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good on it. Um, I'll tell you what happened. Well, let me show you on the paper first. So it started out here and then now it's here. So it was already very nubby, but now it's even more nubby. So I'm doing pretty good on it. Um, what I found is I went to wear it on my lips and it just kind of smells a little funny. So I don't really want to like wear this on my lips anymore because this is an old lipstick. So what I've been using it for, and I didn't use it today this way, I didn't use it at all today, but what I have been using it for is kind of a base for my blush. Like I'll just put a few little you know, streaks there and just kind of blend it in or blend it in with um, either my fingers or most of the time I use my e.l.f. small stipple brush. So that's kind of like helping me use it. I'm using that first and then I'll use kind of like a pink blush on top of it and it works well. It's basically like a cream blush. So I'm still getting use out of it. I'm still making headway on it. 
um, but I'm not wearing it as a lipstick. And then lastly, my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I think I'm doing really well on this. What I ended up doing after filming my first video in this series is I kind of like scraped along the sides and collected the product so I could really see like how much I had, but also to just like get to it and use the product. So I went to use this on my eyes and the consistency of it has just changed because it's getting older. I loved this when, you know, I first had it and for, I've had it a long time. So I loved it for a long time and it worked really well as kind of like a product to cancel out um, discoloration and redness or whatever veining on my eyelids. So I, I really, really liked it and the formula was great. But now that it's sort of started to change, it's, it's feeling a little bit thicker and too tacky, it's really just not working on my eyes anymore. So what I've been using it for is on my nose, which I think it was um, Nikia Joy that did a video talking about kind of like, if your foundation sort of separates on your nose, what can you do about it? What can you kind of like do to help um, basically make your nose makeup look better? You can use a paint pot on it. And I think she used Painterly. I don't think she used Soft Ochre. So anyway, that's what I've been using it for. I've just been kind of like stippling it on my nose as makeup on my nose. And I like it for that. I think it's totally working. Um, a little bit goes a long way with that, but that's kind of how I've been using it up. And I'm liking it for that. So making headway. Well, I totally goofed when I filmed the rest of this video earlier in the day and I forgot to include this product. So it's now hours and hours later and I may look different and my nails are definitely different because I had them done. So anywho, it's now later in the day, but I wanted to include this product and give you an update on it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Pressed Finishing Powder. And I'm doing pretty good on it, but I'm not doing as good as I feel like I have been. I think because either I've been kind of lazier with my makeup and haven't really thought to touch it up throughout the day, or it's just kind of getting to the time of year where, you know, it's cooler outside and my makeup isn't melting away as much. So I don't need to do as many touch-ups. So I'm still making headway on it, but I have quite a ways to go still on it. So. I love this powder. It's one of my very, very favorites. It just blurs everything. It mattifies, but doesn't make you look like cakey or dry. It's just awesome. I love it so much. I like the loose too, but I like the pressed a lot more. All right guys, so that wraps up this update. So I hope you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. And if you are doing this project pan, let me know down below how you're doing on it. Or if you're doing any other project pans, I would love to know how you're doing on that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.